Hello and welcome to WP Forms. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create a user-friendly survey form for your WordPress site by using the WP Forms plugin. Creating and adding a survey form to your site is a great and easy way to learn more about what your customer's experience is like so you can make the changes needed to improve and take your business to the next level. With that said, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. We'll first want to make sure that we've installed and activated the surveys and polls add on that comes with the pro level of WP Forms. To do this, we'll head over to WP Forms and click on the add ons option. From there, we'll scroll down to the bottom to find the Surveys and Polls add-on and click on the Install Add-on button to install and activate it. Once it's done installing, we can get to work. We can head over to the Form Builder by scrolling over to the left and clicking on the Add New option. WP Forms comes with several different form templates to get you up and running as quickly and easily as possible. You can use any of the available template options and customize them as you see fit by adding specific survey type questions but for this tutorial, let's just go ahead and select the survey form template. As you can see, this template comes with default fields for a user's name and email address, as well as survey specific type fields, like a rating field, a Likert scale, and a large text field for any written answers you may require. You can click and drag any additional fields you'd like to add to your form from the left panel over to the right. You can also customize each field, so let's take a look at how we can customize our form's rating field. Once you click on the field, you'll see the left panel change to display the different settings for the ratings field. You can change the label, add a description, which will let users know what they're rating, and then choose the rating scale itself, which can be from 2 to 10. If you click on the Advanced Options tab, you can change the rating icons in the following ways. The type, which can be changed to a star, a heart, a thumb, or a smiley face icon, the size, which will determine the size of the rating icon from small to large, and an icon color, which you can customize. Next, let's take a look at how we can customize the Likert scale form field. Just like the ratings field, all we need to do is click on the Likert scale field on our form to open up its settings. From here, we can customize the following, the label of the field itself, the row options, and the column options. The row options are the survey questions you're asking your site's visitors about, like if you're asking them about their purchase, the service they received, and about your company overall. The column options are the responses that your site's visitors are going to choose from in response to the questions in the row options, so these would typically be choices that range from very unsatisfied to very satisfied. You can customize both the rows and the columns to whatever works best for you. You can take your survey even a step further and ask customers how they feel about your business by using a Net Promoter Score field rather than the traditional Likert scale, and change the field style between Modern or Classic, as well as the size of the field itself. Once we're done making any further adjustments to our form, be sure to click on the Save button on the top right corner of the form builder. Next, we'll want to make sure that we enable survey reporting so that we're able to receive real-time results as users fill out the form and submit them. To do this, go over to the Settings tab on the left and click on the Surveys and Polls tab, and then click on the Enable Survey Reporting checkbox. This will enable survey reporting site-wide, which basically means that WP Forms will collect data and survey results for the following form fields in all of your site's forms. Single line texts, paragraph texts, drop downs, check boxes, multiple choice fields, rating fields, Likert scales, and net promoter scores. One thing to note, if you use the survey form template like we did for this tutorial, this option will be enabled by default. 
but if you decide to create another form using a different template or create one entirely from scratch, you'll need to make sure to manually check this box. If you don't want to receive survey data results for every single form on your site, you would uncheck this box and instead, you can go back to the form builder, click on the field you would like to enable survey reporting for, like say a rating field, and then go to the advanced options tab where you'll see a box labeled enable survey reporting. You can do this for each form field you'd like to collect survey results for. Once we've made these changes, let's go ahead and save our progress again and now we're ready to configure our form's notification and confirmation page settings. We'll click on the Settings tab on the left and we'll first click on Notifications. The admin email in the Send to email address field refers to the admin email address for your WordPress site. So if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. You can also set it up so that the user will receive a copy of this notification email as a sort of confirmation email that their form was sent. To do this, you'll simply use the smart tag that belongs to the email field in your form. You can click on the Show Smart Tags text on the top right corner of this field and then click on the option that says Email. You'll then see the smart tag that corresponds to the email field in your form. Next, you can customize the subject line for the notification email as well as the name the email will say it's from. You can enter an email address in the Reply To field if you would like users to be able to reply to this email. Finally, in the message portion, you can include a custom message if you'd like, or you can leave it blank. The all field smart tag that appears by default just means that the portion of this email will contain all of the filled in fields that the user submitted in your form. Once these settings have been configured, let's set up our confirmation message settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form, message, show page, or go to URL. We'll stay with the default message option for now. Once you've configured all of your settings, click on the Save button on the top right corner, and we're ready to embed our form to our site. Go to your dashboard, click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title and either scroll down to Widgets to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the search bar above. We'll then click on our survey form, Hit Publish, and we're all set. But let's preview our survey form first by clicking on the link to the page and testing it out. We'll quickly go through the survey, submit our answers, and when that's done, let's go check out our new survey results. We'll go back to the dashboard, go to WP Forms, and when we hover over our survey form, we'll see an option called Survey Results. Once we click on it, you'll see survey results for each form field that has survey reporting enabled for it. You can even change the visualization type of the results to something that best suits your needs, like a bar chart, a pie chart, or a line chart. You also have the option to export each section as either a JPG or a PNG file for your records. And just like that, you have a brand new, robust survey form embedded on your site so you can learn more about your customers and help your business grow to new heights. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.